youtubers kichow.com um, this is under the art of civilized conversation remember I had said I had to go to the library and get some information about how to join a conversation strike a conversation keep the conversation going well now I do have the information so we're gonna start with joining a conversation many people fear certain conversational settings that tie their stomachs in knots they are convinced they can't connect with others if you get those knots too go prepared with some of these tactics in mind let's say for instance that you are at a stand up cocktail party everyone is chatting away happily you don't know anyone to avoid this scenario completely, veteran cocktail party goers start with a good offense. They go early and appear to welcome each, other, each other's arrival as if they were part of the established group. Others use the tactic of going with a buddy. If you are by yourself, here are some main options to name a few. Number one, stand around. Others may see that you're on your own, or someone may recognize you and approach you. Number two, sit down. You may be able to strike up a conversation with another guest who is sitting down. Number three, look for another wallflower, person like yourself. Most crowds contain more than one. Greet another wallflower with, how do you know the host? I don't know many people here, do you? Or, I'm glad to meet someone. Once you've rescued each other, you can approach a group of other guests as a team. Number four, make eye contact. People will think you know them. Whether you've been introduced to another person or you've introduced yourself, once you're struck up a conversation, keep going. You can employ many creative twists on customary pleasantries to go beyond how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? To equip yourself with some ways to jumpstart new conversations, this, this subheading is called opening lines and small talk. One Chinese proverb says, there are 346 subjects for elegant subjects. To memory. There are lots of things to talk about, even with the newest acquaintance. It's helpful to keep some of them when you need an icebreaker. Remember we talked about the icebreaker? Growing violets or orchids or collecting rare books or minerals. And if you can convey your enthusiasm for your hobby in a way that allows people to talk about theirs, you are already well on your way that allows people to talk about theirs. You are already well on your way to being a fascinating conversationalist. Lots of people have unexpected interests and almost everybody collects something or knows someone who does. Ask what he or she likes to collect. You may discover that you share a traditional hobby. Current affairs such as news, items that are likely to have been seen by others, recent poll results or interesting discoveries or inventions also provide good starting points for conversation. Kichow.com. I'll see you in the next video.